Dr. J, Soka Prince, my favorite Soka DJ. Welcome to MBXL, the lineup. It's not the barbershop. Right. It's your house. Yes. Live here at Cabana Pool Bar. Care about a week. Downtown Toronto. It's going to be a movie. And um, <laughs> yeah, we here. Took time out before, you know, everything starts. The calm before the storm. Calm before the storm to, yeah. you know, to make this thing happen. And yeah. I appreciate you yeah. for, you know, welcoming, welcoming me into your world <laughs> as I bring you into my world later on tonight. But I've been in your world already. But anyways, we'll save that for later. All but anyways, right, we'll save right. that for later. Um, Jay, you know, you're the guy in the city, the DJ. You moved the needle forward for the Soka community. Um, Talk to me a little bit about Caravana, what it means to you, as this is the week, and uh, what keeps you inspired to keep moving that needle forward, you know, to put you so far in this space, man. Talk to me. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate that. I'm yeah. definitely not the only one. You know, there's right. a lot of, of DJs who champion the music, love the culture, grew up in it. Um, you know, I have to big up my parents, you know, my mom, my dad, they, yeah. they really, brought me into this, you know, when you're... My parents, yeah. Yeah, when, yeah. when you're young, you kind of rebel against that, you know, you don't want to bring food from home in a thermos. It's kind of you know? embarrassing, right? It was embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring in curry chicken and pay in a thermos. You want the sandwich, you want the sandwich. I want the sandwich. The bread and cheese. Thank you, a little right, peanut right. butter and jelly and thing, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, yeah it, it was that culture yeah. and, and learning that, living in it, and eventually bringing that and adding that youth, youthful vibe and, um, and energy into it and yeah. That is what Toronto Carnival is to me. It's that energy. It's the vibe. It's the, it's 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 a happy music. It's yeah, it's one of yeah. those things that when you hear it, yeah. and you'll see it later on, yeah. everybody's smiling. You absolutely, know what I mean? Yeah, Soka music makes you happy. Absolutely. And that is the culture. Absolutely. And what is it that inspires you, man, to just keep going? Like I mean, you've been doing it for so long. Like what's the What's the push for you? I don't like the emphasis on so long. Is it, is it, is it my beard? <laughs> is it the beard that's making you say so long a little bit? All right, all right. No, I, honestly, bro. Um, yeah. I think it's, it's really trying to leave a legacy and um, and make my family proud, you know yeah. what I mean? You know, I want to make my mom proud. She passed yeah. away recently. Um, grandmother, dad, yeah. you know, my kids, my family. I just really yeah. want to leave that legacy for them and um, and make it easier for the next set of DJs. Because for us coming up, yeah. it wasn't easy. No. Straight no. off the jumbo jet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Segway boss. But it's one of those things where honestly, Taking this music around the world, I've gone yeah. to Dubai off of soca music. That's huge, yeah, yeah. You know, obviously the Caribbean, Germany. You mentioned Berlin, Germany yeah. has a carnival too. Yeah. You know, um, so from go figure, go figure, right? It's, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Like yeah. growing up, we never would have thought that that was possible. No. And I've done it with soca music. Yeah. So yeah, I love it. I live it, and um, yeah, I'm just here to to prove that it can be done. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you are. Um, that being said, uh, shout out to Nike. Um, Nike has actually re-released. Uh, Air Force One, West Indies edition. I actually came out in 2002. I Sorry. had that one, yeah. You did? Yeah. You got receipts? Yep. I, I'll show you, I'll show you. I sure I must have pictures. You pump faked on that one. A little I'm bit. I'm not sure you pump faked. A little bit, didn't I? Reminiscent. A little. All right. <laughs> so here we got the Nike Air West Indies edition. Ooh. It's pretty dope, eh? In 2002, Nike introduced the Air Force One West Indies edition. To celebrate the West Indian Day Parade Carnival held annually on the first day of September in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. It has now been revealed that Nike is bringing back the OG 2002 colorway in celebration of the 20th anniversary and the 40th anniversary of the Air Force One. The upcoming pairs arrive in white tumble leathers with a green leather tab on the heel with the Nike Air logo. The highlight of the designs are the West Indies palm tree graphics embroidered on the heel logo. Now, uh, on the inside of the sole here, they got all the countries, um, everything. I mean, pretty detailed, yes. you know, pretty detailed. Um, Not bad. Yeah, so I hope you're okay with the size eight. We got you. Hope you're good with that. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> a little corns for carnival, you know what I mean? I just squish up your foot. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Nike again um, for the dope shoes. Yeah, man, I love it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna wear them though. To be honest with you, man, I mean, you're gonna save those? Or are you one of those guys? Yeah, shoes are made to be worn, fam. I'm, listen, I might bring them back in 20 years, man. Nah, you know, I'm wearing that. I'm wearing that today. Soak or die. Let's go. Okay, I got West you. Indies. Got you. Nice. So, Doc, this is like game one of the NBA Finals. Yeah. We always say this, right? We this do, is we Super do. Bowl yeah. weekend. Yeah, it is. Game one of the NBA Finals. Speaking of that, I'll get back to that later about game one, NBA Finals. But, yeah, I'll get back to that okay. later. But, all right, all right. Um, for me, this is always like the, the event to kick off the Caravana uh, season. 
what else do you have going on for the weekend? Um, honestly, it's it's jam packed. We have yeah. you know flair at Fort York, which is kind of like a, a dressy kind of vibe, uh, food That's inclusive outdoor too, yeah. outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, downtown Toronto. Yeah. Then we go up to Markham for like a one juve thing right. with a big artist voice and okay. many other artists there. Right. Um, Saturday on the road with Saldina. He's right, been yeah. the most winningest band of the year. I think he's won 20 times. Yeah. Um, and I'm on the road Trinidad with them. Too, bringing the yeah. culture here, right? Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. I'm on the road with him, truck number one. Nice. Um, a sold out section with them. Then at right. night we have Soka Afro. So we yes. kind of mix the two cultures. Right. Okay. Afro beats with the Soka that yeah. Saturday night at Revival. Yeah. Right. Sunday, um, there's a party at Aquario. Honestly, yeah. there's so much going on <laughs> in my head, but I just study in today's Soka. Yeah. But yeah, straight through. Yeah. All, uh, Monday, last lap. That's they have right. a boat okay. ride. Okay, gotcha. So okay. yeah, straight through all the way. So we live in? Nice, gotcha. We outside. We outside. <laughs> All right, so like I was saying, game one, with that being said, yeah. you've been on the show numerous times. Um, you like to tell me, uh, you know, that you have this uh, incredible basketball vernacular. So uh, you told me Miami Heat were going to win the NBA Finals, right? We got to go back to it. Is this what I we're have doing? the receipts. Yeah, we have to. Doc, yeah, I got? mean, it, it's got to be Miami. I think, okay. like, I love Toronto as well. Yeah. Um, but I feel like Miami is built for playoff basketball. Mm -hmm. You know, the acquisition of, of Tucker, and I think they got the outside shooting. Um, they do scare me with that. Yeah, I, just, I, really, I really like Miami for the East, and I think for the West, I think a lot of people feel like the inexperience might be a factor, but I love Memphis, man. I, I love the way they play. Good call. I really... <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, defense. Yeah, yeah, that should be my pick. You're yeah, right. I, I really yeah. love how they play yeah. that. So I think it's a Miami-Memphis finals, yeah. you know, personally. I got Hawks Pels. Come on. <laughs> and you know what? You know, I'm not even surprised. I'm like, okay. I said the winner of Milwaukee-Boston is going to end up winning the championship. I was close, right? I, okay, so oh, was, Milwaukee was in the finals? What do you mean you were I close? I said Milwaukee or Boston. Whoever wins that, whoever wins that series. Yeah, but you can't. Okay, anyway, go on, go on. Okay. I can finish? Thank you. Okay, yeah, so, right. okay, that being said, did anybody really see Golden State winning the NBA final? Let's be honest. Nah. People really didn't see it, right? Yeah, no, no, no. It's almost like, you know, I'm playing at Luxie this weekend right. and nobody, I get messages, people say, I can't believe you're there right. at this like urban club and you're bringing Soka there. Huge surprise. Huge surprise. Yeah. And that yeah. was kind of Golden State right. where, you know, when you're thinking, they were in the, what, the play-in? Yes. Right? Yeah. And now, yeah. finals winning. Yeah. Everybody's like, Steph Curry's the GOAT. Yeah. How? Shout out to Andrew Wiggins. Yes. Vaughn's very old. Yes, man. You know? Very proud, Listen, man. listen, listen. I'm going to say Toronto. Okay. I say Toronto. Right, GTA is yeah. very old. GTA? GTA, GTA. Yeah. He did you know? very well, man. Did very well. Um, yeah, and I, I, I mean, watching the finals, I think that uh, Andrew Wiggins, he wasn't the best player in the, in, the, in the series. He was the most important player in the series. I like and that, yeah. by far, you know, watching him play, he's the most athletic player on the floor. I think he held Jason Tatum, man. Eh? And that's the thing. Like, yeah. it's those intangibles that actually helped Igudala win the MVP before. Right. That is what yes. Wiggins did. Yeah. But for the legacy of Steph Curry, you couldn't fight it. Like, no, you know what I mean, I mean he had he to win doing, the MVP. Yeah, absolutely. Right? I mean, you know, offense is always going to trump defense. It's sexier. Let's be honest. Right. You know? Right. Right. First Steph Curry with his dad. The emotions just pouring out. It might be his fourth, but it means so much. All the sacrifice, all the work. Um, of course, I love the season, I love the playoffs, but I also love the offseason. Because it's almost like Young and the Restless, right? It it's is, the, it is. The it drama, is, yeah. your phone's going off the middle, like, oh my gosh, who's, who's, who's moving? Um, Raptors quiet on the front. You know, they didn't make that, too much noise. Right. I mean, you know, we're hearing KD uh, type stuff. Um, Kyrie starts off, wants to move, now he's staying. What do you think about what's going on in Brooklyn? Yeah, I mean, Brooklyn is the team that a lot of us had thought were going to no, win no, the no, championship. No, 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 a no, lot no. of us. No, no, you. No. A lot. Okay. Many of us. No? No. In Wait, the barbershop? Way, it wasn't no. me. No, no, it wasn't me. You weren't one of those guys? Absolutely not. I'm pretty sure you were. Okay. When Ben Simmons went there, weren't you like Absolutely not. championship material? Absolutely That not. wasn't you? I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, bro, um, there, there's too much back and out going on in yeah. there, right? You know, there's too much confusion. And I feel like, adjective. Yeah, there, yeah, there's way too much. And I think when you have that, the team cannot play on the court. Like psychologically, remember, there was um, an interview with Phil Jackson and he was talking about Zen and yes. this is what he needed yeah. with the Lakers. And that's actually what got them on Together. the same page. Yeah, because there was beef. There was beef. Except, yeah. And yeah. there's something going on in Brooklyn and they need to get that cohesion and, back. And Steve Nash is the guy, let's be honest. Love Steve Nash. Great, great guy. Great. But legend. Know, yeah. But as but a coach. Get, yeah. You know what I mean? There, there was actually a, an interview with Cam Thomas, the young yeah. guy, and he was playing summer league and they asked him a question yeah. about Steve Nash yeah. and he rolled his eyes. Like, really? there's, yeah, there's some kind of yeah. real thing yeah. going on yeah. there. So I yeah. feel like 
until this stuff gets sorted out, yeah. they need a new voice, they need yeah. a change. Yeah. And until that, then yes, somebody's gonna get traded. But I just don't know yeah. if the GM is gonna, you know, be willing to give up for next to nothing. Kevin Durant, I mean, high sticker price. Um, like you said, Rudy Gobert um, and the Minnesota uh, organization set the bar pretty high. Um, shout out to Alex Rodriguez, ex-Yankee. I don't know, basketball is a forte, but right, he's right. in there. Um, you know, even what they're asking for in Boston, they're asking for a lot. Um, you know, when you hear the players, you know, and then you hear the plus plus the add on. So it's, I mean, it's going to be a tough move. Um, I think they're both going to wind up starting the season in Brooklyn. You yeah. Know? And, and remember, there's a lot of Eagles in play, right? Yeah. So if you're KD or you're Kyrie, yeah. how are you going to go for something less than a Rudy Go Gobert got or, you know what I mean? Like there's all that yeah. that's being in play. And yeah. I think as an organization, yeah. you're going to say, well, if this is, this is the, the, bar, the bar, yeah. You can't you go, go lower. Yeah. You had to go above. Because arguably Kevin Durant is arguably the greatest player on the planet. Arguably, right? Right. And if Rudy Gobert got moved for four picks and five players. Come on. Yeah. So uh, it's tough. Um, my Knicks, um, you know, <laughs> why you got to laugh? Anyways, my uh, Knicks um, uh, in the running for Donovan Mitchell. It's just weird that you hear the, like you hear the rumblings and you think something's going to happen and the right. days just keep going on, you know. Um, Ainge, uh, Danny Ainge, uh, Utah genius GM. I think he was under the uh, impression, listen, you know, I didn't draft Rudy Gobert. He's not my guy. Let's get rid of him. You know, he's very high on draft capital, as we see. Um, now he's like, listen, I'll leave the door open for anybody wanting Donovan Mitchell also. Um, you know, and again, he's a pick guy, as we see. In Boston, yeah. Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce added up to what's happening right now in Boston, right? It right. took time, but you know, a lot of guys were impatient and wanted yesterday. Danny Ainge is okay to build it slow. Um, what do you think is gonna happen in New York? Yeah, I mean, I don't think New York is gonna do anything. They have draft capital. But I don't nine know first, if nine first round picks in, nine, in five years. They do, yeah. they do. But Are they I mean, give everything what else? Yeah. What, what like who and else? Because, backcourt. They choose the backcourt. And what they have, they want to keep, right? Yeah. So RJ, yeah. you know, Toronto, Toronto's home, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toronto, to, right? Toronto, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that is probably the best piece yeah. that they can move, and they don't want to move him. But Nobody listen, wants to take. I'm okay with. What, what, I'm okay with giving Randall up. But you shouldn't. But we should. You should not. But we should. So. Who is the player that is going to move the piece? Obi Toppin? Who? No, I'm just saying, listen. Make Julius Randle the centerpiece. Work on Who his right hand. Who wants Julius Randle, fam? Listen, once he, listen, uh, listen, it takes a summer to work on your right hand. Dude. That's all it takes. <laughs> okay, it takes a summer right. to work on your right hand. All right, That's all, all right. it takes. Okay. You know? They got okay. guys out there in Brooklyn. Uh -huh. It's New York. It's New York. Yeah. You know? All right. Right? Summit. I'm saying, you know? Okay. Right? <laughs> um, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And of course, uh, the Lakers. Um, they've been in the news also with Kyrie. Kyrie now says he wants to stay, mm -hmm. so um, he won't be moving, apparently. But they got Ham. They got a coach, Darvin Ham, you know, who said that he's trying to push Russ to be the player there. He's you talking know, the right things. Yeah, he's saying the right to. stuff. And yeah. you have to, yeah. and you have to. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I like him as a coach. Um, I, I'm glad he, he has an opportunity to be a head coach. Mm -hmm. I think the Lakers need to make a lot more moves, Yeah. right? They don't have a full team, but if AD is healthy and stays healthy, then it changes the, the whole dynamic of the team. I'm a resume so, guy. We see his resume. The, call has him he, Mr. Glass. Like he's he, always like very fragile. We don't know. Has he ever played a full NBA season? Not that I recall. So, so, yeah, he hasn't. Yeah. I got the receipts. Let's be honest, he hasn't, right? I want Russell, you know, we we, we talked in our conversations and the, the, the biggest word we use was sacrifice. Mm. I want him to go back to being a pit bull on the defensive end and everything else is going to flow from there. We're going to implement some different run, running habits that I think is going to benefit him and some different areas on the floor he'll be able to attack from. But he, he, I want him to set a tone defensively for our team. Just just get back to guarding, guarding, guarding. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, we got to wait to see, uh, you know, Summer League, um, LeBron and Russ with the same game. LeBron was at one end of the court, Russ the other end of the court. I mean, yeah. And they know, they know they we're know. watching this stuff, right? Yeah. Optics, right? So um, obviously not on the same page. Not the same page. You know, so, I mean, we'll see what happens. But you got to make it work, right? Because the better you look, yeah. it's the more value I can get from you. Right. And if Russ isn't happy, he knows yeah. if I play well and I yeah. do what I have to do, then I can go to where I may want to go later on. Right. So it's in everybody's best interest. Work together. Let's make it happen. Yeah. But yeah, they're... I'm glad they have a new voice. Even his agent left. <laughs> I mean, you know, I I've mean, never seen a press release from an agent saying <laughs> we're not on the same page. 
Me and my client, usually it's the client. Well, he obviously texted, called him. He wasn't answering the phone. Like, yeah. listen, guys, I got to do something here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because his name's attached to the guy, right? True, true. What do you do? True. Right? Jay, again, shoes huge. Yeah, man. Love uh, it. Huge shout out to Nike for honoring us. Um, listen, big up to Dr. J. You know, big up to Cabana Pool Bar. Uh, epic weekend, historic weekend. You guys stick around. I'm going to be here. This party's going to be insane. This is the kickoff. This is game one. Get your popcorn. Soak a friends in the building. We outside. Stay tuned, everybody.